Hello, hello you guys! Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Today I will be cash stuffing this week's paycheck, which is $514.78. If you are new, welcome. My name is Alex. I'm a single mom to one beautiful daughter named Savannah. She is 11 years old and I'm 31 years old and we live in the state of Wisconsin. I am currently saving up for a house and I'm an independent contractor. I shop and deliver groceries to customers. So if you're a gig worker, you could probably relate to my budget. I, you know, since my paychecks are inconsistent, that's why I love using the cash envelope system to help me budget out each week's paycheck and it helps me stay on track. And honestly, this method has helped me save the most amount of money so far. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So again, I made $514.78. I will be putting 15% of that into savings. So technically, I will only be cash stuffing $437 today. All right, so let's, let's start off with bills just to get them out of the way. I pay $198 in rent. And since I get paid weekly, I figure out what my bills are weekly. So if $198 seems a little bit low, that's because, yeah, just multiply that by four and that is what I pay for rent. And I live in low income housing. Storage will be getting $19. Electric will be getting 18. My internet bill will be getting $15. My phone bill will be getting $10. And this is for my daughter and for me. We go through Boost Mobile, so it's actually pretty affordable. I mean, the coverage isn't that great, but I mean, you kind of get what you pay for. So car insurance is $15, Walmart Plus $2, it is a grocery delivery service that I use, Spotify will be getting $3, and TV streaming $2. Right now I currently have Netflix. It is the cheapest option. It has ads um, on there, unfortunately, but I don't really mind it. You know, it's only um, $8, so not too bad. And then my gym membership gets $6. And that is everything for bills. This binder is so thick because, yeah, I think uh, this is the last stuffing of the month for bills. Next up, I am going to fill up my wallet that I use every single day. I am going to give myself $20 for spending money. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 70, 71, 72 dollars. My daughter's envelope. This is mainly like school stuff. She will not be getting anything. Household is at zero and beauty is at zero. I recently stuffed 20 bucks in each because I really wanted to go to Dollar Tree and I did. So all you girlies looking out for a Dollar Tree haul, I got you covered. I will be making a video soon. I found a lot of things that I've been trying to find um, in my city. I recently went to go visit my mom and uh, she lives out of town and 
we hit up like every single Dollar Tree in the area, which like we were able to go to like five. It was ridiculous. I think we spent four hours shopping at Dollar Trees, um, but I was able to find like almost like everything I really wanted. And that goes to show like, so if you're struggling to find something at Dollar Tree, you know, if you are like out of town, I feel like it's definitely worth trying because there were so many other products that I've never seen before, you know, out by her. So yeah, we had a blast. <laughs> so yeah, household is at zero. We'll not be getting anything. Beauty is at zero. We'll not be getting anything. Clothing for me is at zero. We'll not be getting anything. Clothing for my daughter is at zero and will not be getting anything. Family Fun will be getting its usual $10. So Family Fun has 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, $43. Eating Out will be getting its 25 and it is currently empty. So now there is $25 in there. Savannah's Entertainment will be getting ten dollars and now she is at 10 20 30 40 50 55 56 57 all right that is everything for my wallet next up is my secondary wallet i keep this guy at home because there's way too much money in here. Gas does not have any leftover money, unfortunately. I did have to take a little money out of vehicles just to cover the remaining amount of gas, but that is okay. I'm putting 40 in there. And then vehicles um, is a lot lower than um, yesterday's video. I think, uh, let's see here. Yesterday I had $215 in there and now I am down to 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And that is because I ended up buying uh, a new wheel bearing. Unfortunately, one of my wheel bearings that I had replaced about eight months ago um, failed and um, it's technically within warranty. Um, I got that done at Midas. Do not recommend Midas. Um, their part only lasted eight months, which is pretty bad. Um, I mean, they did say that this is unusual and yada, 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 but my Uncle Tom, he knows everything about cars, everything about parts, and he said they probably got a Chinese part that was not good. And so, since this part was still under warranty, I could have had that replaced by Midas. But when something is under warranty, you still have to pay for all of the labor all over again. And Midas is not cheap. So my Uncle Tom said that he would order a good bearing, a good part, not from uh, China. And um, he would, you know, fix it up for me. So I bought the part, it was like $165, and Midas didn't even call me back for the quote. Um, so that was also another irritation from Midas. Um, I, I will not be going there again, to be honest. And I understand like things happen, but it's just kind of the way that they handled it. You know, it was an unfortunate event and then they would not get back to me on the quote um, because the manager was out of town on vacation. I left, um, I called multiple times for that quote and the guy was like, oh yeah, the manager didn't call you back yet. I'll, I'll remind him again and still no call. So it just seemed like they didn't want to deal with the situation. So my uncle Tom has me covered but poor Uncle Tom has done so much work on my car, you guys, but um, he was happy to make sure that there was a good part in my vehicle. So, yeah. All right. Um, so, 
$50 in vehicles. Currently, I will be adding in $14. So vehicles is at 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64 dollars. Next up is time off and bad work week. I will not be adding anything into here, unfortunately, but there is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, $610 in there. If you are new, this envelope is really important to me. I'm an independent contractor, so, um, you know, basically if I need any sick time or vacation time, I can take money from here because I don't receive vacation time or sick time. And then also if my paycheck is really low and I can't cover my bills, then I can pull from this envelope as well. Electronics, I will not be adding anything into here. In my budget video, I just mentioned, you know, if you missed that video, I am not going to be prioritizing electronics anymore. Um, I really do want to get Christmas fully funded before I add any more money into electronics. But electronics is at 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, $530. Dental and medical will not be getting anything this week. That is empty. Birthday is empty. Will not be getting anything. Gifts is empty. Will not be getting anything. Holidays is empty and will not be getting anything. And Christmas, unfortunately, will not be getting anything either. Um, but Christmas has 100, 200, 300, 320, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So $330 in Christmas. All right. And that's it for this binder. Got to fill up the vacation binder, which sadly hardly has anything in there vacation is at 120 40 60 80 200 206 if you missed my budgeting video i ended up repurchasing season passes for next year for six flags and um, a ton of add-ons for our passes so um so yeah it was a great deal and um, it was for a limited time, so I decided to do that. I think it's great to get um, any type of like membership for entertainment because I feel like you really get your money's worth, you know. All right, so I just have to fill up my daughter's wallet quickly. She has money set aside for six flags, which is $20. And then she still has her $10 from last week and now 20. So she technically has 40 right now. I definitely want to get her um, some sort of budget binder so she can set aside money, you know, instead of having to like put it in another pocket in her wallet. So I think um, I'll, have to, I'll have to do that soon. I'll have to get her one. And then I recently sold an old lunchbox of mine. So I was able to get some cash for that. And then a tip from last week. So I do have $9 currently, which it looks like that one is empty. So I can fill that one up. And 
then I don't have a Sharpie on me. Let me just see if this will work. I think that'll work for now. I'll just have to remember to maybe recolor that in with a Sharpie later. All right, you guys. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you so much for all of your comments and all of your likes. It really helps out my channel grow. I hope you guys are having a lovely weekend and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, you guys.